this is set 2 of mixed bag radiology spotter set 1 you can find on our page and other spotters also you can find on our page spotter will be displayed for 30 seconds answer will be discussed after each spotter This was a case of frontal encephalocele. Here we can see the bony defect through which the brain parenchyma is herniating. The second spotter is Lerich syndrome. There is complete occlusion of intrarenal iota and the proximal portion of bilateral iliac arteries. Also known as iotoiliac occlusive disease which is explanatory caused by atherosclerosis. This was skin box disease, nothing but osteonecrosis of lunate. Here we can see this is a T2 image where there is loss of normal fatty marrow hyperintensity that shows there is sclerosis of the bone. This was a case of intraosseous lipoma. There is a well defined lytic lesion which shows central calcification in the advanced stages, that which gives cocade sign. Calcanum is the most common site for intraosseous lipoma. Here we can see a curvilinear calcification. This is gyral calcification or gyriform calcification. Multiple causes are there like Sturge Weber syndrome, tuberous sclerosis. Uh, it can be a sequelae to ischemic stroke, arteriovelous malformation, infections like cytomegalovirus and toxoplasmosis etc. This is Fournier's gangrene seen on CT. This is a clinical diagnosis, nothing but necrotizing fasciitis of perineum, most commonly occurring in men who are diabetic. Air foci are the pathognomic features. Here we can see fat stranding also.
this uh, chest x-ray which shows left atrial enlargement due to mitral stenosis here we can see double density sign nothing but left atrium and right atrium shadows overlapping each other this is enlarged left atrium shadow which is coming behind the right atrium This is a foot x-ray of a neuropathic joint causes can be diabetes, syringomyelia, spinal injury, leprosy etc. wherever the sensory uh, input is lost from the joint. The mnemonic 6D for the radiographic changes are density change that is osteopenia or sclerosis, destruction, debris, distension nothing but joint effusion, disorganization and dislocation. This was a CT head case of carbon monoxide poisoning. There is diffuse hypotenuation in cerebral white matter. Also hypotenuation in globus pallidus is pathognomic for carbon monoxide toxicity. MRI for further evaluation can be done. In this case we can see fracture of floor of orbit also called as blowout fracture. Fracture of any one of the walls of orbit is called blowout fracture and inferior wall is the most common fracture seen. Follow our page on Instagram and YouTube at Radiology Doodles for more such videos.